What's going on everybody? CJ here. So, guys, you guys just seen the video of, let me darken that a bit. You guys just seen the new video of how to install LSP, Far Script Hook, V, and Rage plugin hook. Uh, all the newest and most pr uh, current updated versions of those mods. Um, I know I've seen a few of you come on there with comments saying that it worked. That it was great, that you appreciated it, and uh, I also seen a bigger majority of you coming on there saying, "My game is doing this, my game is doing that, but it's not loading, it's crashing, it's on the infinite loading screen." Uh, so here is the thing, guys. I, you guys are not alone. Okay, I'm the, I'm having that issue too. Now, what you guys are looking at right here, yes, that is my modded GTA 5 right there that you guys are looking at. ELS is working. It's all working, guys. It is all working. So, with that being said, guys, um, let me turn it off real quick. Uh, this is Epic's version of GTA 5, so mine is working. I'm going to tell you how I got mine working, okay? This is what i done. I am not on the new updated version of LSPFR, guys. I am not on the newest version of Script Hook V, and I am not on the newest version of Rage Plugin Hook. I am on the previous version, guys, because what I did was I made a backup copy of my game directory um, before I did these installs, just as I recommended that you guys do in the video in my description and in my pinned comments. So I want you guys to know that I don't tell you guys this stuff just to blow air out of my mouth, okay? I tell you guys this stuff because it's very important that you always make a copy. You Two things you always do in LSPFR, okay? Or as a modder in general. You always back up your game version through Rage or however you back it up through Rage or copying the directory and putting it in a different drive. And when you're installing a new mod, guys, you always back up your current game directory. Your current game directory, meaning you go to the hard drive in which you install GTA 5, Steam, Steam, uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. You, you highlight that GTA 5 directory, Grand Theft Auto 5, Right, you you highlight it, you right click, click copy, then you left click, right click, and click paste and copy, and you paste that exact replica of your current GTA 5 directory. That way, if something goes wrong when you install them new mods, you have that other directory to fall back on that you know for a fact works. Okay, guys, this is included with Steam version and Epic's version, okay? You can do it with either version. This right here is my Epic's version, guys, okay? It is up and running. Now, this is on the version 2060.1, all right? This is on ver uh, Script Hook V version 26. I'm sorry, Epic's version, I'm so sorry. Epic's version 2060, okay, on Script Hook V. And then the LS, I'm sorry, this is not LSPFR. Yeah, Script Hook V 2060 and GT5 2060, okay? Now, on my Steam version, I am currently running GT5 version 2060.1 and Script Hook V version 2060.1, LSPFR 0.4.8, the previous version, not the latest version, the previous version. And Rage Plugin Hook 1.81. Okay. Now, if you guys cannot get your hands on 1.81 anymore because they've already taken it down, then I don't know what to tell you guys because that's why you always hang on to those older um, Rage Plugin Hooks and LSPFR uh, WinRAR files and your Script Hook V WinRAR files. Even LSPFR will tell you their stuff that when you put in new updates to back up your game directory, back up your previous game, back it up. 
whether it's their mod or anybody's mod, they'll tell you to back up your game. Now, they'll also recommend you this because I'm not trying to knock LSPFR at all by any means. I love playing LSPFR. I love the mod. I love the game. If I didn't, I wouldn't have cared about backing up my directory to make sure that my game worked. Okay, guys? So with that being said, um, they also do recommend that when a new update of LSP4, ScriptHook, V, and Rage Plugin Hook comes out, and GT5, that you do a fresh install, meaning, meaning this, that you delete all your directories, your, your Grand Theft Auto 5 directories, however many that, that is that you got, you delete them all, you go to your Steam library or wherever it is you got your game installed at, you uninstall GT5 and reinstall it. Even though it may take two hours to four hours to six hours, however slow your internet is, or however long it takes your game to install, it is always worth doing a fresh installation, okay? Now, that may be my issue right now. I'm not sure what it is. I did put a post on LSPFR.com um, asking them if anybody had any pointers on anything that any help would be greatly appreciated. So I did put a post out there on LSPFR, and I'm waiting for some replies. So if they tell me, hey, you just need to do a fresh install, or you can do this to fix that issue or that to fix that issue, I will let you guys know immediately, okay? <clears throat> guys, I have two recommendations for you right now, okay, that you can do to make your game work, okay? One, you can do a fresh install, which meaning, like I said, Delete all your directories, uninstall GTA 5, and reinstall it, okay? Two, re second recommendation, all right, is if you did, in fact, back up your current game directory before you installed any of those mods from my video earlier, then you can always go back to that previous version, okay? You can always go back to that copy, all right? And you can go back to that and play on that. But you would have to rename that copy to Grand Theft Auto 5. So you would highlight it, uh, right click, click rename, and then just erase the word copy all the way down to the dash. Erase the dash. And then uh, erase it all the way down to where it says Grand Theft Auto 5. And then you click enter. And there it is, guys. You have your directory back up and running. If you guys don't know how to run multiple GTA 5 files, I'll leave a link in the description below that takes you to one of my videos that shows you how to run multiple GTA 5 files, guys. It's actually quite simple, uh, and it'll blow your mind how easy it is. I'll link in the description below. Um, I'll try to link it in the video here, and I will also pin it in the comments, okay, guys? Um, I love y'all so much. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my only recommendations. Um, but I have both of my Epic's version and my Steam version running, guys. It is run. Both versions are running. But keep in mind, guys, I am running on version GTA 5 version 2060 on Epic's and 2060.1 on Steam. Okay, that's why they're running for me right now. I'm not saying this. The new updates are not working. It's just that I. This is just they wouldn't work for me. And it may be the fact that I just need to do a fresh install. I don't know. But right now, I know this version is working for me on both Epics and Steam. So I'm sticking with this for right now because I have to have... Um, I'm fixing to do a patrol for next week. I've um, got a BMW patrol coming up, guys. BMW bike patrol. And I've got to have this for live streams next week. So guys, with that being said, those are my two recommendations for you. Um, you guys can take them and run with them, or you can just leave them where they are. But, but uh, either way, guys, anything right now, if your game is not running at this point, anything is worth a try. So um, if, if this right here didn't work for me, guys, going back to my previous version, I would have done a fresh install. I would have done it, uh, which I'll probably end up doing anyway, regardless. Um, I just want to make sure that I have this week set up, even the, the, being the fact that Sunday... And I will start posting content tomorrow. I um, don't want to go ahead and just delete everything right now because it would take me a while to get everything reinstalled again. And I just don't have that kind of time tonight or tomorrow. So with that being said, guys, I love you all so very much. I know this was a bit of a long vlog. 
But guys, two recommendations for you. Fresh installation or go back to the copy that you made if you made one, guys. And I hope that you did. I hope you listened to me in my video. Uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I love y'all so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all. God bless and peace out.